It is a very dreary Friday here. Uh, it's been just raining all night long and it just, you know what, tomorrow is going to be the day for my once a month great big grocery shop for September. So if you are only here for the grocery haul, you're going to want to skip ahead a couple of minutes. If I remember, I will um, put chapters in so you can just skip ahead to just the grocery haul. But I do get a number of questions in the comments from people saying things like, oh my gosh, that's amazing that you can do once a month grocery shopping. How do you plan for that? I would love to once a month grocery shop, but I don't have the space or whatever it might be. So I just wanted to address some of that here this morning for you. This morning when we were sitting down for breakfast, actually it was Warren and me and Sam was sitting there as well. And I just said, hey guys, what are some supper meals that you would like? And immediately everybody knows that Warren said chili, and then he said ham, he said hamburgers, brats, oven fried chicken. Well, then I think Peter might have come over and said venison steak. Yeah. And then Warren's like, oh, I'd like pizza one night. And then Sam was there and I said, what about you? And he said chicken fried rice. Warren said pepper steak. And then he's like, how about pork and sauerkraut and dumplings, which has been on the menu plan for a long time. But that is just an involved meal. And that is like kind of his family's. Uh, meal and I've just never gotten fully used to making that. So anyway, that's on the list. He also mentioned hot pork over mashed potatoes. Someone said bacon wrapped mini roasts. Uh, somebody said chicken stir fry barbecue. So there is a whole list right there of just uh, 14 meals already. So that's how I usually like to start it out. And now I'm not really going to show you the whole calendar here because <laughs> I don't need everyone to know where we are all the time. But I come over and I look at my calendar and I look at what do we have going for the month because I do not plan breakfasts or lunches typically unless we're going to do something kind of special for that. Usually I just sort of buy food that I know we can use for breakfast and lunches and then lunch is just whatever leftovers we can find from the night before and any little add-ons that I have purchased for lunch. So I kind of come over here and I look, um, is there a day that requires a crock pot meal? Is there a day that requires just a really quick meal, like pizza, corn dogs, <laughs> tacos, something like that that's just really easy to do? Is there, are there days that we're not, I don't even need to plan a meal because we're going to be at some kind of other event, some kind of party, wedding, uh, whatever you guys understand right like potlucks that type of a thing So I come to my calendar and I start looking at that and I kind of count up Do I need a full 30 supper meals? Do I only need 26 supper meals something like that? I uh, and I do know that if I plan a full entire month worth of supper meals We probably won't make all of those because there will be the occasion that we go out to eat either Warren and I as a date night and then I will make sure that I have some pizzas or macaroni and cheese or something like that that Sam can make quick for everybody. There's also the times that we just go out as a family because we were out and about doing something and we just decide this would be the perfect night to go get something quick for supper at a restaurant. So that happens too. So I, I do know that if I plan a full 30, that's gonna be too many. So I don't really need to do that. I usually try to plan three to four less than whatever the days in the month are. So September is a 30 day month. So I'll probably plan about 25 or 26 meals for the month, knowing that it will all work out. You always have a little extra food. Um, at least I find I always have a little extra food around that I can kind of turn into a quick meal if I need to. So once I have some meal ideas from my family and once I've looked at the calendar to see what types of meals we need to do for each, you know, like each day of the week. Then I'm going to head out to my computer. So give me a second and let me get that all uh, called up. So I'm out at the computer now and I just pull up my document. I, ha I made this like calendar one time and I just keep saving as so I have, you know, a new, a new month. One nice thing about this too is that once you start having enough of these saved, then you can just refer to it. So like, let's say you want to just kind of have the same types of foods from last May. You just pull up your May calendar and you can look at what did we eat last May? Let's just eat the same things and maybe add in a couple new things. Maybe we found a new recipe like that over the year, you know, you might want to just tack in 
tuck that in there. What I'm going to do now is just in this little gray spot here, I'm going to type in some categories. It looks like for this month of May I didn't have categories, but a lot of times I'll put categories. So I did look at my calendar and I see that Wednesdays and Thursdays I'm going to want to have like either faster meals for the month of September or crockpot meals, something that can just kind of you know be going so that when we get home on those days it's not a mad dash to try to make supper. The other days of the week are going to be, you know, days that I can make just kind of pretty typical meals. I do know that these two weeks here, we are like for sure this week and then a part of this week, we are going to be having cranberry harvest. And so that uh, I like to make sure that I have some meals that are pretty satisfying just because <laughs> during cranberry harvest, um, you know, there's always that chance of equipment breakdowns or bad weather or whatever. There can just be even situations that come up with delivering your crop or for us anyways, delivering our crop and it just gets a little stressful. And so I just like to have meals that are quite satisfying because at least the end of the day can be something that everyone can look forward to. Okay, let me get those categories typed in. So my categories for this month are going to be Sunday best. So Sunday nights are going to be a little bit more of just kind of your old fashioned country style cooking, you know, the kind that grandma would make. And I'm a grandma. And by the time this comes out, I'm probably going to be a grandma for a second time. All right, so venison meals on Monday, chicken meals for Tuesday. Wednesday will be a crock pot meal. Some of these meals will be freezer meals, some of them that Emily and I put together. So Wednesday will be crack pot, Thursday will be picnic meals. And when I say that, I just mean like hamburgers, brats, uh, that type of thing. Friday, we're gonna do vegetarian suppers. And then Saturday is going to be cook's choice. And that's really just anything that maybe I find a new recipe that I wanna try, or maybe there's gonna be something uh, that just doesn't fit someplace else that we wanna have. And that's what we're gonna put onto the Saturday cook's choice. Next up, I'm gonna take these meals here and I'm going to find places for them on this computer calendar. And then I'm also gonna fill in the rest of this with my own ideas. Okay, well, that took a little while. I would say it takes at least, it takes me anyway, at least 20 minutes. It might have even been a little bit longer. It's about 20 to 10 right now. I have everything on the list. This will be a printable uh, for you guys. It will be in the newsletter. If you haven't subscribed to my newsletter yet, you're going to want to check out the link in the description. You can sign up. You'll only get one email a week. That will be on Monday morning. Emily always puts those together for me um, and she does a fabulous job, I think. So if you do get those emails, you can always hit reply and you can give Emily a little, like a little high five or something like that because I think she does a fabulous job putting those together. They might get a little light here because, you know, she's going to have a baby soon. So <laughs> I think we'll give her a little time off um, from the newsletters. Although she's been talking about maybe trying to schedule them. Anyway, that is it for planning the menu. Now I need to go through with this list and I need to make a grocery list. So I just go day by day on my calendar and put down every single item that I'm going to need for those supper meals. And as I'm doing supper meals, I'm also usually thinking, oh, we're probably gonna need bagels. Oh, we're probably gonna need this. And I put some of those other things on the list as well. I also have been once a month grocery shopping for so long now, years, that some things I don't even have to put on the list, I just know. Like when we had everybody at home, I needed to get eight loaves of bread every single month. Now there's only six of us here instead of nine. And so I usually only get about four or five loaves of bread a month for the freezer. But anyway, I just know, I know that we're going to need a box of Pop-Tarts every month. I know I'm going to buy a box of fruit snacks every month. I don't even need to put that stuff on my list. So I hope that this is helping you. If you are enjoying this content, this information, I would so appreciate a thumbs up. It really, really does help me. I know you hear YouTube say, YouTubers say things like that. And it is true, a thumbs up and actually even a thumbs down shows engagement, shows that people are paying attention to the information um, in the video and it really does give a little signal to the YouTube algorithm to put this information out there so that more people can see it and more people can connect and more people can learn how to <laughs> plan a menu, I guess. Okay, so this is my grocery list here. I have everything on here 
that I need for all of those supper meals. I also wrote a couple things on here that I remembered. Like Peter mentioned, we needed ranch dressing. Like I said, I don't have everything. Like I don't have milk on the list because I know I'm going to need six or seven gallons of milk to get started for the month. And I also pay attention pretty closely to my pantry throughout the month. Like right now, so yesterday I baked more zucchini bread. <laughs> How many loaves of zucchini bread have you guys made this summer? Oh my gosh, I think I've made, I think yesterday was loaf 13, 14, and 15. <laughs> it just seems like zucchini, zucchini. You know, that's on top of all the zucchini muffins that I've made as well. So anyway, yeah, zucchini is crazy right now. And, you know, but when I was doing that yesterday, I went to, you know, I was down to like this much flour and this much sugar in my little bins. So I went to the pantry. I had another flour. Great. I emptied that into there, but I didn't have another sugar. So that tells me, you know, then I kind of go, oh, I definitely am going to need the full 10 pounds this month. It's the end of the month, and I still had one to fill and I still had another one in there, then I would probably only get five pounds, well now they're four pound bags or whatever, of sugar. So I would only get one uh, package of sugar. So I just really pay attention to my pantry throughout the month. And I mean, if you're my age, you've been doing this, uh, paying attention like to your food for a long time. <laughs> if you're young and you're just starting out, that's all brand new to you. And it's like, oh my gosh, it can feel a little bit overwhelming. And that's okay. Just know that each month you will get better and better at it. As you start to get your favorite meals to make and as you start to get, um, you know, more like on your own cooking and living, you know, under your belt, you will just get better at it. It's just like that. That's how it is with anything in life. The more you do it, the better you get at it. Here we are. I have my list. I know the things that I'm going to need. Tomorrow morning, Maria and I are going to, we're going to head out bright and early in the morning. The guys are going to be leaving early. I think they're leaving at seven o'clock tomorrow morning. <laughs> and so uh, that means that Maria and I can head out really quick. It's just going to be basically a YouTube second and we will be back home from the grocery store showing you everything we got. I hope you guys are ready for a great big shopping haul today. We have currently a grocery budget for our family of six of just under $700 a month. And I know that sounds like a lot because I do once a month grocery shopping. So the goal is to buy everything that I need for the whole entire month, except for things that we're going to eat more of just because we have. Things like Pop-Tarts, granola bars, chips, cookies. Uh, things that I will stock up on would be black olives, pork and beans, frozen vegetables, gravy packets, meat, things like that because I just I, I like to try to go once a month and then just fill in as I need throughout the month. One thing I forgot to show you yesterday, well, earlier in the video when I was making my list is that if I am looking at my list or if I'm looking at my meal plan and I see, oh, I need strawberries, but it's not till the third or the fourth week for something like this month, I wanna make pretzel salad and I always like to put strawberries in there. And so what I already did is I already added strawberries to my next grocery list. So it's already on there so I don't for forget to get those. Also, I would like to make some roasted Brussels sprouts and I want to do that later in the month as well. And so I, and the Brussels sprouts didn't look very good today. So I just added that to my list because I thought, well then in a couple weeks when I go back to get milk and whatever I need, then I will pick the Brussels sprouts up. So that's kind of how I do it, how I kind of stay ahead of the game or, or I shouldn't say ahead of the game, but just keep on track. <laughs> that's how I keep on track. Let me turn the camera around here and show you all of the groceries that I got, I went to, for food, I basically I went to three places today. Almost everything's at Aldi, a few items from Walmart, and then just a couple little things from Dollar General. At the end of this video, I am going to share with you the rest of our haul because Maria and I shopped for like five hours today. So we got more than just food. This month, a couple people were asking for chicken stir fry. So again, one bag is most likely enough, but again, I never know who's gonna be here. So I like to have an extra bag and it surely isn't something that's gonna go to waste because it's a freezer thing. I love to just use boneless, skinless chicken thighs with these, the Asian, the, the teriyaki, at least we don't like the teriyaki flavor. We like the Asian one better. These are from Aldi. Uh, I also got some pizza. I wanna do some cheese pizzas later in the month. And actually what I wanna do is 
put a whole bunch of like garden vegetables and things on them like tomatoes and onions and stuff like that doctor them up for a meatless friday i did pick up some sausage pizzas as well just for a pizza night someone had asked for chicken like chicken patties i think it might have been peter who asked for that so i picked these up it said that these were a higher quality there's like a little label at aldi i'd never seen it before but it said something like red bag chicken or something or a red red bag product which said it was like i don't know, won some kind of award so i picked up these they were a little bit more expensive than just the round patties but i think they are higher quality meat we are going to be having a crock pot meal actually probably this week i'm going to make pizza casserole or pizza hot dish i guess is what i usually call it and so i needed pepperoni for that and i needed some sausage now they were out of the sausage rolls at Aldi and I had gone to Walmart first, so I didn't pick it up there. I didn't know they were going to be out. But I also want to make, later this month, I want to make biscuits and gravy. I'm hoping Italian sausage is going to work for that. Yeah, I just, I hope it does because <laughs> they didn't have any other sausage at Aldi today. Warren had asked for oven fried chicken this month and I always like to do that with chicken thighs or chicken drumsticks. So I just picked up one chicken thigh. Let me see what's under here. Oh, this is a drumstick. And then this one under here is just boneless, skinless chicken breast. And that, what I'm going to end up doing is I will cube that up for the night that we have the chicken stir fry. And since it will be thawed and we won't need all of that, I will put the remainder of that. No, I have that earmarked for something else. Actually, what's going to happen is the night that I make the oven fried chicken, since I will have this and this thawed, I will use half of the thighs and half of the legs for that night supper. And then the rest of it, I'm gonna put in a crock pot to make the savory chicken sandwich meat. That's one of the things that Emily and I had wanted to do for our freezer meal prep day, and we just never got to it. So probably between that and maybe some of the leftover chicken breast, we'll make savory chicken sandwiches out of that. That recipe is in my um, cookbook. If you're interested, it's so easy. It's just a little garlic powder, I think, and some Italian dressing, and you just cook the meat long time, shred it, serve it on a bun. It's so good. Warren had requested brats, so there are the brats, and then we're going to do some a couple different pork dinners this month, and so I've got these center cut pork chops. Those are both from Aldi, and let's see. Wow, I didn't realize that those were $4.09 a pound. <laughs> That was a lot. Okay, I didn't mean for that, so just ignore that I spent that much on, on on two little packs of meat. But anyway, hopefully it tastes really good. We also are going to be having like shredded Warren wanted pork. Actually, I'll probably just slice it kind of thin. He wanted pork over mashed potatoes and gravy, like a hot pork. Or we could even do it over homemade bread. Uh, he likes that too. So I bought a pork. Is this a pork butt roast? What did I get here? The sticker fell off. It's like stuck someplace in there. Yes, that is a boneless pork butt roast. I did pick up two of the boneless chicken thighs. Actually, that is what I'm going to. I'm making all kinds of mistakes. This is what I will be using with the Asian stir fry for the, the chicken stir fry night. And I can't remember then exactly why I have the boneless skinless chicken breast. There was a reason. I would just have to look back at my meal plan. One pack of hot dogs. We have one, I believe, in the freezer. I just wanted to have another one. It makes a good lunch, especially if we have leftovers, but not enough for everybody. At least I know I can give, like, Joe and Peter a couple hot dogs, and then we can... Um, you know, eat up the leftovers. Two things of lunch meat for the month. A lot of times I will put this in the freezer and bring this out later in the month and it, it freezes fine, it thaws fine. It does get maybe a little bit watery, but you just let it kind of, you just let it drip, put it on your sandwich and it's perfectly fine. I wanted to get a regular ham. This was all they had at Aldi and like I said, I had already shopped at Walmart first that's not my norm to do. It's just I was on that end of town. So that's that's just how I did it this time. What I'll do is I will just put this in the crock pot to just warm on low. And then we will have kind of like a ham dinner. It's already sliced. It's going to work. It's not perfect, but it is going to work. Some frozen french fries. And then I did get a whole bunch of sour cream. And that is because I still want to make the cheesy hash browns. And that is um, for our freezer meals. Like 
that day we just I forgot to buy sour cream so we couldn't make it a couple cream cheeses I didn't know if I needed it but I was at the store and I thought I'm gonna grab it because you know we are getting into pumpkin season and pumpkin and cream cheese always goes well together although I couldn't find pumpkin like just canned pumpkin today so I'm gonna be on a hunt for that uh, a whole bunch of cheese it looks like I have one two about five pounds of cheese here this will be for when I make cheese fries later in the month I have mozzarella down there just shredding for whatever it is we've also been enjoying grilled cheese so my older kids always liked grilled cheese when they were little and now and then all of a sudden like Joseph Peter and Maria they just never liked grilled cheese well all of a sudden all three of them now are liking grilled cheese so that's been a nice thing to be able to have for lunches Maria had asked if we could get moo tubes and they only had cotton candy flavored with a raza water berry watermelon berry I don't know <laughs> they were some weird flavors at least we thought they were and so we did find these little Danimal smoothies so we went with that we've never had them we don't even know if we like them but we thought we'd try them some parmesan cheese there is a black fly flying around me oh and then some cottage cheese here black olives four cans of pork and beans and then I'd really like to make brown rice I know I've seen Mandy from Mandy in the making make brown rice she says it's her mom's recipe I couldn't remember if it took beef consomme or French onion I think either of those would be they're kind of interchangeable sort of ish so and they won't go to waste I can always use those in a roast so I bought both of them because I couldn't remember here are the biscuits for biscuits and gravy this I thought was a great buy they had the dollar off of these Italian breads these are really yummy if you have not picked these up from Aldi they have different ones they also have a I want to say they have like a sourdough or something too but anyway you just put it in the oven it gives directions right on the back I'll tell you you put it in the oven for 10 to 12 minutes at 350 degrees the outside gets a little bit crunchy and it's just warm and it's so 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 good and then some bread I didn't need five loaves or I did didn't need eight loaves like I used to get four loaves of bread seemed to be sufficient for us and well I got these two as well so I guess six loaves and then I did three hot dog buns and three hamburger buns four dozen eggs I used to get ten dozen um, we just don't need that many eggs uh, really it's just Warren and I who really and Joe who really like eggs for breakfast and so we haven't been going through as many and our chickens are laying nicely five pounds of butter this month I had some butter I would say three or four pounds left from last month six gallons of milk now over here let's talk about vegetables and the garden so this year I never got my potatoes planted I never got my carrots planted so I bought both of those I never grow celery so I bought celery I needed that um, I really have something that I want to make and it needs red peppers I want to make pe pepper steak and it takes red peppers and it takes so long for the garden peppers to eventually turn red so I just bought those I have tons of green peppers though uh, also our green beans I've gotten so far from the garden two like nice size kettles full of green beans for a supper meal uh, nothing where I could can or freeze them so I did get four bags of frozen green beans and then cauliflower I have so many cauliflower plants out there so far one of them has a little bitty tiny head of cauliflower started so it's really really late it's really taking a long time so hopefully the cauliflower has time to mature before we get um, a frost night and then the nectarines were on clearance today and so I did pick up a two pound bag of those from Aldi peaches were on special I don't remember what their price was maybe like 98 cents a pound something like that so I picked up peaches and then the pears were very expensive they were over four dollars for this which I think is like two or no that's actually three pounds so I guess that's not horrible but Joe loves pears so I got those now I have had questions and I've, I know I've mentioned this before but these oh and I also got grapes because grapes were 89 cents a pound today the red grapes were so these fruits here we will eat first in the month and then I will earmark um, the canned sliced peaches as well as my home canned applesauce those things will come out later in the month when after we've um, like exhausted all of our fresh fruit we also grew cantaloupe this summer and we have two cantaloupes one we just picked actually it had fallen off and so we're kind of letting it ripen up a little bit more another one is still out there growing so hopefully those are 
you know, good and tasty. I don't have plans to make dirty rice this month, but for a long time, dirty rice was always sold out at, at Aldi. When I do see it now, I always grab two boxes just to have. It makes a great, great lunch. Uh, everybody really, really likes this. Even Joe, who does not like rice, will eat dirty rice. Some Italian dressing for marinating steaks, ranch, just because, you know, if you have kids, you need to have a big bottle of ranch around. Some marinara sauce, and this is going to be for the pizza hot dish this week. My tomatoes, I have so many tomatoes, they're just, almost all of them are still green. We did pick two or three that are ripening on the windowsill right now, and, you know, but that we're gonna eat those fresh. I don't really have enough right now to make a marinara or any kind of spaghetti sauce. And I used everything from last year that I froze. Okay, some macaroni and cheese, egg noodles. This is going to be for the pizza hot dish. Elbow macaroni because I have chili in the freezer but no noodles in it yet. Rotini just to have on hand. Graham crackers because everybody knows Joe. <laughs> is addicted to his graham crackers. If he gets up in the morning and he goes to the pantry and he opens it up and he sees, well, the best is when instead of throwing the box away, someone leaves the box, including him, he'll do it. They'll just leave the box in there and it will be empty. So he'll get his box, he'll put it on the table, get a glass, pour his milk, he'll open the box and then he'll go, oh no. <laughs> I'm like, what? Is it empty? No, broken. It's broken. I'm like, it's not broken. It's empty, buddy. <laughs> so anyway, he loves his graham crackers in the morning. Some Pop-Tarts. I went with two boxes this month for the kids. So the regular frosted brown sugar ones and the strawberry. I think I forgot to show you the cereal. I went with all bag cereal this time. Maria picked out Tutti Fruities. We got the Honey Grams, which are like Golden Grams. And then these golden honey O's, which are like the O's cereal. It's like a Cheerio. Oh, you can't really see it, but it's a Cheerio. And then the center is filled with like a kind of a oatmeal, honey, cinnamon type of flavoring. And then cinnamon toasters, which is kind of like, you know, cinnamon toast crunch. Okay, I stocked up again on cake mixes. So we used up all of our cake mixes this month for Maria, for Joseph. And then I made a cake last night for our fish fry. So they are all gone, so needed to replenish that. Oh, I see some other things. We really, at least I did, really, whoa, you're gonna knock me over there, Maria. Um, I really liked the Pioneer brown gravy that I made this month. What did I make that? Oh, I know, some meatballs. I picked up four of these. I thought these would go really well with one of the pork meals that we made. I also picked up, saw this. So when I was looking for that, I found this pork roast seasoning mix. I've never bought this, so I thought that would be kind of fun to try. And then yesterday, when we had our fish fry, Nick's girlfriend, Brittany, and Emily were talking about yellow rice. I'm like, what is yellow rice? Does it have saffron? They're like, I don't know what it is. And um, sure enough, it says saffron yellow rice. But anyway, I've, I've never had this, but they both said that they really like this. And uh, Brittany was saying that her mom would make this yellow rice and then she would saute up chicken like you know cubes of chicken and then also put in a can of corn and she said that was a really good meal so i thought i don't know if we'll try that or just the rice in it by itself but anyway i wanted to try that evaporated milk i got one can because i i know i have some in the pantry but if i'm going to be making any pumpkin pies i wanted to make sure i had that powdered sugar i ran out last night making the cake baking powder i just know that i'm getting low chocolate chips because you can never have too many of those around and funny thing my kids do not break into the chocolate chips and eat them it's one of those things where i mean i could have 20 bags of chocolate chips and no one's going to eat chocolate chips as a snack i mean I shouldn't say no one ever. They might have a couple here or there, but it's nothing that, you know, like I know people who say they have to hide them because their kids will eat the whole bag. Maria just heard that. That's not good. <laughs> they are smaller than it looked. Mm -hmm. It's good. It's good? You like it? Mm-hmm. Okay, two four-pound bags of sugar, a great big thing of oil. I had to get canola this time because all of the vegetable oils were smashed in at when I was at Walmart. And so anyway, canola it is this time. 
one box of saltines, package of dinos and sharks fruit snacks, one pack of granola bars, oh, I um, golden rounds. I do, you know, we do cook a lot from scratch and we make a lot of like treats and things like that. But I am not against you know, every month buying a box of, you know, these different types of things like this because sometimes it just comes in handy when you're just busy and you don't have time to bake. I did need to get some more cinnamon, some more walnuts, vegetable spray, round crackers, sunflower kernels with the salted ones. Joe really, really likes these and that's always a great snack for him to have. A couple of these, no one even asked for these today. I just grabbed them and I know they're gonna be excited about that. These two packages of cookies I got from Dollar General. I don't know if you guys have really like fully discovered Dollar General and then the Dollar General app and how you can load coupons onto your app. And if you shop on Saturdays and you spend more than 25, you get five off. Anyway, I have really, really been liking Dollar General. It's like, it's like a mini Walmart. You know what I mean? They have all the household stuff and the health and beauty and everything, but it's just not Walmart. So anyway, Dollar General came through with a good price on the cookies, and I know Warren loves Chips Ahoy. Of course, everybody loves Double Stuff Oreos, so, I, so they'll all be happy about that. One thing of coconut creamer, I feel like 32 ounces, I feel like this has gotten smaller, unless the shape of the bottle just makes it look, I don't know. One thing of cranberry juice, one apple juice. They had the butter twists, and these are always better than the regular uh, pretzel twists that Aldi carries, so we got that. Two things of caramel, I picked this up at Walmart. I would have gotten more if they had it at Aldi today too, because it's always at least a dollar less at Aldi. We like to dip apples in there, and of course, we like to dip fresh cranberries in there as well. Some chips, like just chips to have with salsa, potato chips to throw on with lunch, some nacho chips, ranch chips, Cheetos, pretzels. This is gonna be for the pretzel salad later in the month, so I'll just tuck those away so they don't get eaten. I think the only last food items I have are a couple things that I'm gonna send to my mom. So, you know, she does um, stay at a facility, but sometimes she doesn't always like the meals. You know how that can be. These are all brand new. I've never bought these for her before, except for the macaroni and cheese. This I know she likes that, but I'm trying beefaroni, rice with chicken and vegetables. Uh, this is called, these are Hormel Completes. This one is the chicken breast and dressing, and this one is the chicken breast with mashed potatoes and gravy. Those all just kind of sounded like fall to me, and so I thought, well, give that a try. So that's everything for the grocery haul. Now we also have a budget of $180 that is specifically for household supplies. That would be all like your kitchen essentials, you know, soaps and cleaning products and like health and beauty aids, uh, over-the-counter medicines, things like that. So let me just show you. I did just put up my haul the other day, but since grocery shopping that day, we already had a few things that I forgot to get on the list. So I picked those things up from just kind of a variety of stores. So I'll show you what else we got today. Walmart, I did get some makeup. So I wanted to get like a lip pencil that was a little bit more kind of like skin color that I could, I think I'm gonna be able to use this with any kind of lipstick, we'll see. And then I picked up these two. These are Maybelline Superstay Ink Crayons. This one is in the color Make Moves, and this one is in the color Reach High. So anyway, I thought I would give those two color pencils a try. They're like one of those kind of color stays. I think they sort of stain your lips a little bit. And then a new Insta Dry, and that is in color Taupe Priority. From Aldi, I did pick up this fall flannel shirt candle and some more kitchen bags and then some allergy relief. And then Maria and I also stopped at Goodwill today. So I did pick up a couple little shirts for Colt. We're gonna to start to get some cooler weather. And I just thought this was so cute. It looks brand new. I mean, it doesn't even look like anyone ever washed this because the, the decal is just perfect. So anyway, Super Brother. And then this little uh, Carter's, nope, Chaps um, plaid shirt. And I thought, I didn't know if she had anything for him for this fall or winter for Christmas or, you know, just a nice little fall shirt. I thought it was so, so cute. Also from Goodwill, I picked up these sandals. These are 
Franco Sarto. I have no idea what that brand is or where that brand would be sold, but I saw these and I do really like wedges. I like those kind of like chunky ones too. Um, and all summer I've been wanting a pair of white sandals and I just have not come across any that I actually really, really like. So I thought these were cute. I could wear these with jeans or skirts and stuff like that to church still for some quite some time. And then I picked up this dress. It's just a little cotton dress and I can't tell if that's navy or black. What do you think that is, Maria? Navy or black? Uh, totally black. I thought it would be cute with a belt, like a black kind of a woven, one of those, not really straw, but you know what I mean, one of those woven belts. I thought that would be cute with that. And then, and let's see, that was $5.99 for the dress, and the shoes were $7.99. And then this little shirt was on clearance for $1.99, and I thought this was so pretty. It's short sleeve. It's hard to stretch this out. Here. It kind of uh, dips down in the back. Kind of, you know, cover up your bum a little bit. <laughs> and then a little bit higher in the front. And then I thought like with, um, you know, really any color tank top, but especially for the fall, maybe like a brown tank top underneath or something like that would look really pretty. And yeah, so I picked that up. That was, those were our Goodwill finds. Maria tried a dress on. If she does that in the mirror, I'm like, nope, we're not getting it because I know you won't ever wear it. <laughs> Then we went to Dollar General. I picked up two things of wrapping paper. I have two birthdays in September. So both Amber and Emily have birthdays in September. I mean, we have, there are other birthdays in September too, but I mean, from our immediate family, we have them. And then I picked up two of these. These are the 39 gallon Hefty Strong. We've been really liking this size and this brand out in the garage in those like great big garbage cans. They fit, they don't They don't like slide down, they're perfect. So 39 gallon is the key. Some more kitty litter. We got this the first time and it's working well. It's that clumping kind so Maria just, like every morning she just scoops out and, or actually anytime she sees sugar go potty, she scoops it out. And then some Purina kitten food and then these Glade Apple Cinnamon for the fall. I'll put one in each bathroom. And then this is for a friend who um, just has a new home. And I loved how it said, welcome home on it. And then the other day I was at Dollar General and I picked up this sweater. I didn't try it on and I had picked it up in a large, um, but when I got home, it was just way too big, which it obviously runs very, very large because I have been a large and even in some things I find an extra large if I want it to be a little bit more roomy and not quite so fitted but I had to return it I got the medium and it's still I would say quite big especially through the arms but I like it I Maria said she's like I can just see you mom at night cuddling up on the couch and uh, editing with this sweater on. <laughs> so um, that's it, and that was $20. Like I said, try out the Dollar General app. I, I mean, I, I just actually put it on my phone this morning, and I found out that these were two for $9, and then I found out through the app that these, some of these different clear, uh, candles were actually on clearance for 10% off. And then there was a dollar coupon that you could clip. And then all you have to do is just enter your phone number. You really don't even have to have your phone at the store. It does help to have your phone with you, though, because then you can see which coupons you clipped in case you have forgotten. So that's everything. I hope that you guys really enjoyed this video. I really enjoy doing these types of videos for you. I know I get so much great feedback that you like it when I tell you, like, what I'm going to be using the different food items for. It helps you to meal plan. And, I mean, I watch grocery hauls myself even though sometimes it seems silly to me because I'm like well I know what groceries are out there <laughs> but I still watch them every now and then because it is helpful sometimes to hear someone say oh I really like this brand or this is how I use whatever and if you've made it this far and you're brand new here uh, thanks so much for sticking through the whole thing and you can hit the subscribe button and never miss another one of my videos so I will put a few more once a month grocery hauls up on the screen if you'd like to click on one of those we'll see you in the next video bye bye